What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about customizing the panel schedule. So in this video, you will understand the panel schedule templates and then I'm going to show you how to duplicate an existing template and we're going to edit the new template that we have created from the existing template and then I'm going to show you how to apply the new template to a project. Okay, so let's do this. So to view the existing template first so that you have an idea what I am talking about. So in this project, it's the uh, panel schedule is already created. Okay, so if you go to the project browser, you can see you have the lighting panel to panel schedule. So if you double click that, you will see here the, the panel schedule. Okay, so... Revit panel schedules are very useful for capturing and verifying the circuit information. So this circuit can also be found on your system browser. If you remember last time we are we had, we talk about the system browser. If you go check your system browser here and then check your electrical here. If you search for the LP2 here you can see all of this circuit listed here. Like for example, one, three, five, seven, nine. Okay, so it's all here, right? So these uh, circuits, so if I click that, if, I, if you click here, you can see it highlights there. So if you click that, it's highlighting, right? So if you click here, so you see it's highlighting in your uh, system browser. So this is another way of checking out what are the circuits that is already created in your project. So you can use the system browser or you can create your uh, panel schedule. Okay, so the information contained in a panel schedule and the format of the presentation is determined by the panel schedule template, which is I'm going to show you later on. And those templates are part of the overall Revit project template. So the existing panel schedule templates can be customized or duplicated to create additional templates for custom uh, customization. Okay, so let's try to do this one. So let's try to duplicate an existing panel schedule. We are going to create a new panel schedule by duplicating an existing panel schedule. Okay, so how to do that? So from the Manage tab, and then from the Settings panel, you can see this icon here, so Panel Schedule Templates. You click the drop-down arrow, you can select here manage templates. So you click that and then it will show you you have here one template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. Okay. And then we are going to name this. Okay. So let's say, for example, uh, let's call this um, branch panel for commercial or just branch panel commercial. All right, and then I'm going to select here, okay. Right, now we need to make this as our default template. So to do that, just click and then select make default. That's it. So that the next time you create a new panel schedule, Revit will going to use this template that we have set as our default template. So after that, just select here, okay. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to modify the template that we just created. Okay, so to do that, so let's go to the Manage tab. And then again, you click that drop down arrow. And then this time, we are going to select Edit a Template. So just click that. And then let's select the template that we have created a while ago. And then select here Open. And then it will now open up your uh, panel uh, branch panel commercial panel schedule. So let me just close the windows that I have here Just to save up some space. Okay, right Okay, so this is now our panel schedule. So we are going to modify this uh, Panel schedule that we have created a while ago. So let's say for example to the left side of this trip column I want to add another column here right to the left side of this trip column I want to add a column to the left side so to do that, I'm going to click this column here 
And then after that, from the columns and row, I'm going to add or insert a column. So that's how you do it. So click the drop down arrow and then let's select left of selected. So you click that one. And then as you can see, it's now added here. You see that blank uh, column. So just adjust that one. There you go. And then let us put some boundary here or uh, borders. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to click this field and then drag all the way down here. And then let's select here, edit borders. I want to add an outside border and inside border. And then select OK. And there you go. Okay, so let's do that here as well. Click that, edit borders, outside, inside, OK. Okay, so maybe let's tidy up this one. I just want to add uh, mm, Okay, I think I'll just add a outside border here Let's just add an outside border There you go, okay, and then after that we are going to add here just like this so we are going to add parameters. So to add parameters, so let's say I want to know the number of uh, elements in my parameter. So I just need to right click the field. Okay, let's right click the field. Oh, sorry, just click the field. And then from the parameters and then select from the add parameter, click the drop down arrow. You can now see here the parameters available to your panel schedule. So let's say I want to add a number of, um, let's say, okay, let me just click on say here. Okay, so I want to add number of elements. Okay, just click one of the fields here and then click uh, add parameter. So let's say I want to add the number of elements. So just click that one. So it will now be added here. See, you now have number of elements, number of elements. Okay. Right. Now the next thing that we are going to do, you can adjust that one by the way. So I'm going to call this uh, number of connected elements. Number of connected elements, something like that. And let us try to adjust again the border. So number of connected elements. Then let's click this. Change the justification. So let's say I want that to be center. And then vertically, uh, vertically aligned bottom. Just like the others. And same with this one. So I'm going to select all of this. Horizontally aligned uh, center and bottom. And let's uh, edit the font. So select again, edit font. So let's make it bold. You can also change the font style or the font size here if you want. And then just select OK. And let's do that here. Let's do this column as well. Only this one. Right. So edit font, uh, bold, and then OK. And there you go. So that's it. Now, another options that you can play around to modify your uh, panel schedule, you can go here to the template and then you can select here, set template options. So just click that one and Revit will give you some more options to modify the template that you are trying to create. So here on our general settings, so the general settings options, it allows you to customize the overall panel schedule appearance such as your uh, width, the, the parts, the borders, and the number of slots and parts that are shown. So you can modify these uh, settings before or after creating a panel schedule 
to make it comply to your specification. So you can always go back to the general settings. Now the other options here is a uh, circuit table. So for the circuit table, it specifies the layout of the panel schedule, circuit information, and circuit related settings. So you can choose the format for displaying the loads here. So you can uh, select this uh, display option. So again, it's up to you. For me, I'll just select your loads in split columns uh, by face. Okay. And then you can also uh, select here for panels other than three pace. You can hide the column for a new spaces or you can show but disable column for an, uh, a new spaces. You can also control here the pace column value such as your apparent load or if you only want to show the current. All right. Now the other options here is the loads uh, summary. So in the load summary, it specifies which load classes to display in the panel schedule and specifies their ordering because you can select here, move up and down. So if you select that, so you can select here, move down or move up. So that this setting is for this one, only loads that are connected to the panels. So these are the loads that is connected to the panels. And then you can also select here a constant set of load cl uh, classification. So you can select that and then you just select here what are the load classifications that you want to show to your scheduled loads for your panel schedule. So you can select from here and then you can select add. You can select add. You can also uh, change the order, move down or move up. And of course, you can also remove that. You can also remove that. So it's up to you if you use a constant set of load classifications. For this exercise, I will just use only loads that are connected to the panels, which all of this. Okay. After that, I'll just select here. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing that um, we are going to do here is uh, we are going to finish the template. So let's say, for example, you are now done editing your template. So you just need to select here, finish template. There you go. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the settings now of this uh, panel schedule. So we are going to change the template. So we are going to use the template that we have created a while ago. So to change the template, it's very simple. You just look for the template here and then select change template. So just click change template and then you just need to select the template that you have created. And then after that, just select your OK. And there you go. So this is now the template that you have created. Okay. So as you can see, these are now your updated template okay if you want um, you can also modify the panel okay so let's say I'm gonna right click and then I'm going to show again my properties this one okay so from my properties I'll go back again to my panel schedule and then as you can see my panel schedule or my panel is already selected these are the circuit number three you just selected the circuit number three you can also select let's say circuit number five these are the uh, properties that you can change you can move the slider down so any changes that uh, you do to your uh, let's say circuit number five it will affect your panel schedule so you can select by circuit okay and then if you want to select the panel you click above you click here and then you already selected the panel. So if you want to change the physical uh, location of your panel, you can specify here the elevation or the offset. Or let's say, for example, you can also change here the, uh, let's say, maximum number of single pole breakers. So instead of 12, so let's say you want to change that to 24, and then you can just select here Apply. Okay, so that's how you change your uh, or modify your lighting panel.
So you can also select it from your panel schedule aside from selecting it literally. Okay, you can also select it here in your panel schedule. And by the way, another uh, thing that I would like you to notice is there's also an option here, rebalance loads. So as you can see here, for my buses A, B, C, this is the total loads and then the total amps. So if you want to rebalance that, you can click here, uh, rebalance loads. So if, if I hover my pointer, it says it rebalances the loads and panel schedules. So this tool redistributes loads to make the load as equal as possible on each space. So if I change this one, if I click this, you will notice your total load here will going to be somehow rebalanced by Revit automatically. So let's click this one and let's wait. There you go. So it's now changed here. It also changed here your uh, total load for buses A, B, C. Okay, so basically that's how your uh, panel schedule customization. So that's how you create and modify your panel schedule. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.